Welcome back to another energy work transmission. This one is all about the heart center. Okay, so we're basically taking down any blocks and distortions and any misalignments from both our higher heart and our lower heart. Now, the higher heart is something that we activate as we start to embark upon our multi dimensional embodiment and even our multidimensional and higher self activation journey. So once those aspects of ourselves start to activate, whether it is on the ascension path or something else that you may be doing in your spiritual practice, the high heart gets activated at a certain level of spiritual growth and it should be fairly easy to activate and get in tune with that after some time on connecting with your higher self especially and so those two things are very much uh, linked the higher self and the higher heart now the lower heart which is commonly just known as the heart center it's commonly just known as the fourth chakra the chakra that connects us from the lower realms and the higher realms so it connects uh, the three lower centers as well as the three higher centers of the seven chakra system now of course there is more than that there is more than seven chakras <laughs> there is the eight the high heart and there's plenty of other ones as well outside of our bodies and within the body so we're not going to go into that conversation in this specific video I'm giving you just some information here at first and then we're gonna go into a bit of an energy work healing session for any sort of blockages that can come where the energy of the both the higher heart and the lower heart can get stuck we mostly deal with you know blockages and sort of issues around the lower heart center because the high heart is just something that will just activate and it will be shining a lot uh, brighter and it is the sort of frequency that cannot be disturbed it cannot be really distorted or misaligned but it is up to us to be aligned to that to be aligned uh, and embodying our higher self in order for the flow between these two centers as well as our other energy centers and our other energy bodies to become coherent with that so the heart center really the higher heart especially is where that coherence gets sort of started so we start to bring all of our energetic systems and uh, all of our energetic centers into this unified coherent flow and all starts to get aligned from there and when it comes to the lower heart center this is where we deal with different things such as disconnection and especially you know if you have dealt with like burnt out, burnout and the sort of empathy or compassion exhaustion that might come as a result of that you might be dealing with heart walls or sort of like blocked or sort of a stuck uh, heart center and also things such as your boundaries being crossed can can really sort of almost cause a closed up effect of the heart center, the lower heart center. So it can feel as if though it's hard to be vulnerable and trusting and opening up to people. I find that if you are a starseed and if you are sort of maybe a little bit stuck in your mental levels, you're not that connected with your heart center, that can also... Uh, because that is sort of an um, incoherence, so maybe in that, on that level you are not connected with that human compassion and human sort of connection, if that makes sense. And this, uh, and therefore the unconditional love isn't really flowing through that center. But once we, once we start to align with that unconditional love more and more, then the, the heart center the, even the, the lower the human heart center will be able to, you know, just pour out the love and, you know, not be depleted, if that makes sense. And that's another thing, you know, depleter, depletion, if we are sort of overgiving and kind of drained by, and for whatever reason, you know, there are different reasons why we might be drained. If we are misaligned from our true selves, if we are not expressing ourselves clearly, so in this way it also connects to the throat. So from the, uh, the, the lower heart, the high heart and the throat, that is sort of like a bridge. So when we truly love ourselves, when we are able to embrace our full selves, both within and without
result, so both in soul as both in human as well. So we have those things linked and connected and we are able to bring those together. And there is this full self-acceptance regardless of uh, how our life looks like on the external versus how it feels within. So all is really accepted and loved unconditionally and that, what, that is what brings our heart center to its full glow and its true brilliance. And it really helps us, again, take down those walls and really be vulnerable, really be who we are and who we are meant to be in this lifetime. And so therefore it's important to have both those centers open and glowing and activated and just bright. Having your feet down on the ground, breathing in, you may also lay down if you so choose, just be comfortable, just be present here and now. And if you haven't yet, you might want to set a sacred space or light a candle, do a simple act action of sort of respecting the sacred nature of this energy work uh, and and just make sure you are in a calm environment so in that way also making it a sacred space being present with yourself if you s should so choose you can invite in any spirit guides of your liking who may be uh, supporting you throughout this session and as always, as most often we connect with our higher self, this is where you can get to connect to your high heart center. So opening up and activating that high heart center. Feel that glow. Usually we feel our high heart center between the collarbones, near the thymus gland. So, it is a little bit higher than the lower heart center. And now you may feel your higher heart center activate. You may feel it becoming bright. And if you need any help with this, you may choose to receive this energy work. And do remember that all of my energy work is based on consent. So you will always have to consent before getting started. And we are just getting started here. So as I start transmission, transmitting through my hands, the opening of your and activating of your high heart center and preparing you to this energy work transmission as well as healing and activation. We will be starting with that high heart opening and connection and making sure that that is all ready and good to go. And opening, opening that channel to, through that heart center to your higher self. So if you yet haven't connected with your higher self in any way, shape or form, this will start that process for you in the most comfortable and aligned way to your path and your growth. So always respecting that and always respecting your free will, okay? And as I help you think this way, open up those energy fields opening up to that coherence. Things may come up, you may feel certain things uh, come to your awareness as to what may or may not be in the highest alignment of your good as well as in comparison to others. Just bringing up this this awareness and supporting you and allowing for all that does not serve the highest good of all involved to be dissolved and removed from your energy fields 
so that you will be supported in aligning with your highest paths, your highest timelines, and your highest expression on this planet in this specific lifetime. Protecting that, protecting that through heart-based soul path. Now as we are connected with that high heart, we're starting to open up and bring to our awareness the lower heart, so the human heart human heart center and first thing that came about was boundaries so let's, let's first of all I guess I'll get some tools here so I got this one that will help us protect our boundaries so compassionately holding those protective boundaries and we're also going to do a little bit of clearing before we get into that, so so let's just get started with that. Firstly, with the selenite wand, I purify all interference from your human heart center. So if you're picking up empathically other people's energies, other people's baggage, other people's traumas and things, things that do not belong to you at all. Let's just have those be cleared, pulled into this selenite, purified completely out of your heart center. So if there's just any baggage, any, you know, attachments, even any cords, you know, the, the higher heart center doesn't take cords, but the lower heart center can sort of have cords wrap around it. And it almost like create those walls and cages, so we're starting to kind of dissolve those with this. Taking off any, you know, yeah, any baggage. And for those that are even, you know, bigger cords, I'm using my knife, okay? So some of you might have like really dense cords there. So I'm just carefully starting to kind of cut them and break them apart with this obsidian knife. And again, your higher self and your healing console, you might have your own healing console of light that may support you with this as well to make it as, you know, comfortable and uh, healing as possible so that it isn't, you know, shocking your system too much. And as we don't consent, we are doing this, right? And we are talking about this really dense and draining and harmful cords again, like if there's anything that your higher levels are not allowing me to remove, they will not be removed, okay? So don't worry about that, that's all settled. So we're only taking that, which may be either blocking or yanking or sort of disturbing your flow. to breathe throughout this that will really help you integrate as well as flow through this energy work and to let it like settle nicely in your field. Once more. Cord cutting complete. And now I'm just removing any debris. Just if there's anything kind of floating around in your energy field, I'm removing it with this selenite wand. I 
call forth the pure, divine, solar, golden love light to pour through your energy fields, through your heart center, through your high heart, through the entirety of your energetic system. Bring more healing, to bring more light, to bring more love through the entirety of your beingness. And to support in this healing session and activation. Letting that golden, pure love light do its thing. purifying anything maybe blocking that heart center um, sort of gently removing those things out with just my hands any, again any of those walls and blocks sort of optimizing the flow of light through the lower heart center compassion, fatigue, and just flush that out, and flush out all compassion, fatigue, right now. of unconditional love light, templates, DNA, frequencies, codes, in your Venus. Letting it sink in to your energy field. So it's this little healing wand and it has one stone for each energy center and right here has the, the heart center thing and what I'm doing is just pointing at the center of the screen and transmitting that human heart pure love compassion frequency. sending any other heart-based codes into your beingness that we may have not covered here, that will still want to be activated and you will know what it is for you. For example, generosity. Maybe some of you all need to be a little bit more generous, a little bit more giving. Maybe some of you are over-giving and you need to align that. Maybe some of you all are still maybe feeling a little bit closed off and you just need to draw a different tool. <laughs> and this will help you be a bit more open and vulnerable with others. Maybe sharing more about who you really are, even as a human. Maybe some of you all are, are kind of locked in the spiritual stereotypes and you need to be a little bit more authentic even in your spiritual practice. Those are some of the themes that just come through my mouth, but you may have yours, and I allow yours to activate 
whichever those are. And I like this orb, this is the other side of the top. I like this orb also work through your energy fields, kind of smooth out anything in your beingness that isn't in that heart alignment. So this is sort of an override, override frequency. Bringing in those beautiful orbs of pure divine love light. Golden orbs, silver orbs, platinum, copper, orbs of aurora. Just beautiful love light surrounding your entire beingness. Remembering who you are. You are all of it. All of that divine glow that is you. And you are it. Pure crystalline. Seraphim to again purify more of that. Uh, if you deal with a lot of hostility, that will be really powerful for you. So, I'll also send a little bit of that Seraphim activation here for some of you, the purest Seraphim activation. And protecting with the pure divine love light, with pure divine boundaries. Activating those divine boundaries, the vault boundaries, letting your boundaries be enhanced by unconditional divine love light, unconditional self-compassion, and unconditional divine compassion as well, you know, compassion towards all. that comes from that unconditional divine self-love, understanding that you are also divine, that you are also high vibrational in your divine self-love, because some, some of you may have again distortions around that, so this will bring that into alignment as to what it really is, what it is in its most pure. Love. 
so that you may again realize what your true love is. And finally, settling in all of this energy work into your energy fields into your energy bodies, into your energy centers, especially the heart and the high heart. <sighs> May they glow in their highest, most divine, pure light that they ever are. And that is the most eternal frequency that they are. blessed and beautiful light filled <laughs> wonderful day ahead of you and feel free to visit this energy work session again if you feel like you need it and take some time after this to ground yourself a little bit you may want to for example like touch your arms or do some yoga asanas Take a few deep breaths at least and just settle in uh, and spend some time with yourself before going out in the world and then, you know, engaging with everyone that way. Uh, the energy work will settle into your fields very uh, sort of gracefully and you can uh, sort of get the most benefit of it. However, if that's not possible, you can also take with you, for example, a tourmaline, black tourmaline crystal or another uh, crystal that you find that may be sort of protecting your fields. Lepidolite would be a good one as well. So those are some of the ones that, you know, I would recommend at least for now. And, um, and yeah, just uh, the, the best course of action would be to just rest for like at least 30 minutes, make, maybe take a nap and uh, then go on and enjoy your day and listen to your higher self, listen to your what your heart is speaking to you and just be aware of that, okay? So thank you very much for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed this activation.